Hello guys, thank you very much for joining in. Hi, this is Ganesh Naik. I help finance professionals and students to excel in their career and become a better version of themselves. And I also help students preparing for prep, uh, competitive exams like CFA, FRM, and SCR. So I have with us one of my students, Hemant. He has been able to clear the SCR exam for October 2023. And he's going to be talking to us about his journey of preparing for the exam, what challenges he faced, and how he was able to manage the entire preparation. So Hemant, thank you very much for taking out time and talking to us uh, right now you're in Canada and uh, if you can just give a brief to the audience, what exactly are you doing a small brief? And when did you started your preparation for the SCR exam? Right. Thank you, uh, Ganesh. Uh, thanks for this opportunity. Um, so yeah, I'm Hema Tagdhani and uh, I have been in Canada for the last 11 years. Um, I have, uh, I did my master's in environmental biology uh, from Delhi university. And then I, I uh, worked in India for about two, three years, and then I migrated to Canada. And um, so, yeah, I'm working with a consulting firm currently, WSP, and uh, I have been uh, implementing a lot of the environmental health, safety, and sustainability projects for them, for, for okay. my clients. Okay. And um, so I started uh, looking at uh, a certification, you know, that would give me an edge, give me a you know, credibility in the field of uh, sustainability and climate change. And that's right. when I came across uh, the SCR certification. And uh, then I, uh, you know, uh, joined uh, your group, uh, you know, so to be able to prepare for the exam, I knew that the exam would be tough. So I needed yeah. some uh, material, some uh, direction on what to look at, you know, what to review before the exam, what to study. Although I already had a background in environmental sciences, yes. in climate change. And uh, so I started uh, studying for uh, for SCR certification in uh, at the end of July this year. That's okay. when I joined uh, um, your study group. And uh, I, you know, I looked at the, started looking at the material, what's there, the question mm -hmm. banks are there, the videos are there. So I started, you know, going through the videos. I looked at the book. I said, there is a lot of stuff there. But let me look at the videos. Let me look at your videos on YouTube as well. So I looked at those and I think there was a video that said, you know, that these um, things from the chapter, these points from the chapter are important. So yeah. I looked at that and then I started my preparation. Okay. And you were doing it uh, every single day or was it only on weekends? Um, most of the days I was doing it every alternate day or every couple of days I would study. But yeah. Uh, a lot of study went, um, I studied during the weekends, a lot of hours spent, I would say, I mean, six to seven hours at least, I would spend during the weekends. But every day, if you say maybe an hour or so, just okay. to look at the videos. So I started with the videos. Uh, frankly, I, I know you said that, you know, it's important to read the book as well. But I thought, you know, it's important that I go through what you have given, you know, the videos. And what's important from there, I look for in the book as well. I okay. think in, in the videos itself, you clearly state, you know, okay, we have done this, 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 and this is important. Please go through these aspects in the right. book as well. Right. Okay. And then when you when you completed all the videos, you went to the book again and you started solving. Is it correct? Um, so I completed the videos and then I looked at the, the question banks. I started doing those questions, you know, for each, uh, each chapter you have, uh, I think, three or four, four, I believe. Uh, yeah, four quizzes. Mock exercises, more questions relevant to those chapters. So I started doing those. I felt confident, you know, uh, doing those questions. So I kept moving through the videos and then moving through those, uh, you know, um, questionnaires. Uh, so I would do maybe a couple of mock exercises, then move on to the next chapter, you know, just to uh, keep those, you know, couple of mock exercises uh, for me to review later on uh, after I had completed the, all the videos. Okay. So I completed the videos. I completed those uh, two or three you know, mock exercises, questionnaires uh -huh. um, initially after the videos. And then I moved on to the, the mock uh, papers. Full and mock, mock papers, papers yeah. Two, three and four. But so when did you complete it? And then after that, I looked at the book, you know. There were some questions in the mock exercises I didn't, I hadn't uh, understood. Maybe uh, there wasn't much explanation. So I then looked at the book. But I frankly, I didn't go through the entire book. Okay. So basically only the videos, then solving the question bank. Okay. That's, okay. that's how I got there, frankly, you know, so the, your, your study material was really helpful. In the, in okay. That Wonderful. Thank so, you. 
to him. And and so by when did you completed your videos and chapter wise questions? Which month probably? Yeah, so I would say by August end, or I would say September beginning, I would have completed all the videos. And mm-hmm. question is, I would have done um, around that time up by September mid, and then mock papers I kept you know really at the end towards the uh, right. last end of the uh, um, you know my preparation. Um, yeah, so I think in September end and October I started doing the mock papers. And did you went to the summary PPTs that were there for? Of course, vision? yes. I went through uh, before that. Okay. I went through the summary PPTs. That was a very important, you know, just to refresh my memory of what I had studied in the videos, you know. Right. So, that, so yes. yeah, videos, then some mock papers, then I went towards the summary okay. uh, PPTs, and then I gave the uh, the mock papers. Actually, you know, in between, I also started giving those the left the ones that I left, but mm. you know, right after the chapter, the chapter specific mock test. So I gave those before I went to the mock one. The full end mock papers. Okay. Now, when you were giving those full end mock papers, what was the average accuracy you were getting? First three mock papers were a breeze, I would say. Um, I think maybe eighty more than eighty. I was I was getting the fourth one was a little 80%, tough. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, the fourth one I got less than eighty, I think maybe around sixty-five. So okay. I said that's okay. I mean that that could be an outlier, you know. The questions yeah. can be tough. So then I looked at the book, you know. I said, okay, what what are these questions, uh, you know, that I didn't understand? So that was a tough paper, you know, the fourth one. Okay, yeah. wonderful. And so overall, uh, by one or two days before the exam, you were done with mock papers. Is it correct? That's right. So I revisited the mock papers just, you know just to refresh my memory before the exam, I think a couple of days ahead of the exam, you know, and I did all the mock papers, you know, okay, okay. in one go, right, in a couple of days before the exams. Uh, right. And then when you went to the actual exam, so what? how yes. was that first half an hour for you? I think the first half an hour was fine. I, um, I mean, I took some time to get started. Um, questions were fine. They, they were easy. They were not that difficult. Um, but I think the half an hour was fine. The first hour, first half an hour. I mean, there were there were other people in, in giving some different exams there in the exam center. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. So I was probably the only one who was giving this SCR exam there in that center. But I think it was um, very well organized. The exam center was good and the exam went uh, well. Okay. Okay. So, and out of the 80 questions, how many theory and how many calculations you found? I think there were uh, maybe a couple, two or three calculation questions. Uh, most of them were like, you know, long winded questions. But at the, since I had done the mock paper, so I knew at the end would be the, you know, the proper question that they wanted to ask. And before that question, there was, you know, a lot of story around it. Okay, this happened, that happened. So yeah, there were a lot of questions on you know on risk governance, um, um, you know principles of responsible banking, you know net zero related concept, uh, right. and then there were four and five on scenario analysis as well. Okay, and broadly, what if you look at the uh, you were able to manage everything in that three hours? I was able question? to manage. Yes, okay. I could go back and you know look at those questions that had. Uh, you know, some doubts, doubts on. So I went the, went back and looked at those questions and quickly answered those as well. Probably okay. changed some answers there as well. Okay, wonderful. And then yeah. uh, uh, if you look, if I just bifurcate, if you want to bifurcate overall 80 question, how many yes. questions are very easy? How many questions are medium? And how many questions are very tough from your experience? I would say tough for about uh, um, um, 10, 10 of those would be tough. Uh, medium would be, I would say, majority were medium. Um, yeah, yeah um, about uh, forty-five odd would be medium, and then the okay. rest were easy, easy ones. You know okay. that you could just breeze through. Okay, okay. And did you found anything which is coming outside the guard book, or for, primarily from the additional readings that were being mentioned? The few set of additional readings were there in the exam. Right, right. I think there was one that. Uh, was being talked about a lot, you know, with the, uh, I think there was a scope three one, then there is a COSO one, but I I don't believe they were from additional reading. But yeah, if you read, do go through the additional readings and that's good. Um, I think there was one more that I'm forgetting. Uh, 
I mean, which had the four, you know, quadrants and. Uh, 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 uh. Yes, uh, it's in the correct. second yeah, last chapter. Sorry. Second last chapter. Yes, yes, that one. Yes. 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 The worst okay. uh, scenario, you know, the the heated scenario, and uh, yeah, that that graph. On orderly, okay, you but know, overall, disorder. overall, it was from the book itself. That means the curriculum that I, we. I think about. it was from the book itself. Yes, mostly okay. from the book. So if you go through the study material, uh-huh. go through the book. If you have that direction, then I think you can easily clear the exam. Okay, and then when you came out of the exam, what was the confidence level? How much out of eighty you will get correct? What was that idea? I thought so. I would clear the exam. That's that's. I mean, that's what I thought. Unless you know the. i have really answered you know something badly or you know i haven't understood the question and just uh, you know gone haywire in my understanding then you know but otherwise i was very confident okay okay yeah. okay and now the results are out you have cleared the exam so if i ask you yes. three tips from your experience of preparing for the exam how should somebody prepare well i would say that uh, you know you find someone and you know uh, get that study material um don't just rely on the book because i mean if, if you look at the book then you won't know what is important what's not so you need that sort of direction as to you know how to prepare for the exam that's important you need to get that certification that's why you know that's the end result um so one is of course look for those study materials you know like your uh, uh, group provides that study material so that's very important that was very important for me frankly to get started uh, you know is there someone in you know in the market who can provide me with that sort of study material that gives me direction the other one is allocate time be consistent so every day if you go through that or if you say okay daily i don't have time on the weekends i'm going to do it so have that you know 4 or 5 hours on the weekend to study right. i think you need at least 100 hours or 120 hours to uh, prepare for the exam right if you don't have that environment background then you should study more you should give more time and dissipate right. that you have to give more time uh, i had that some some background i have the foundational background for sustainability and climate so mm-hmm. i was able to sail through i was look at the study material videos and that helped me a lot okay okay wonderful so wonderful thank, thank you himant i mean tech talking to us and talk walking you us through your journey of preparing for the exam because a lot of students who are going to go for the exam most of them are going to be working professionals with, with very limited time yes and currently because this certification is very new so it is the information is not there how Correct. other people are clearing how things how should i approach any paper or how should i yes. solve which part is difficult which is not so all of this i think so uh, students who are preparing for the exam they will get some idea and they'll be able to get motivated and they'll go for the exam in the future so thank you very much for talking talk to us today yeah thank you for the opportunity really appreciate it